so alcohols can act as can act as nucleophiles so the how do they react so this is the general alcohol molecule okay so we have this with us okay now this oxygen atom due to the delta negative charge generated okay this acts as a nucleophile attacks on the carbon atom right so we have r okay when it attacks h2 is removed so we are left with r o H, we have a plus charge on it. Carbon. All right. So this is how an alcohol can act as a nucleophile, and attack on a nucleophilic center as this. Okay. So we are left with protonated. ether okay this is a protonated ether all right so <clears throat> this is one of the ways in which we can prepare ether as we'll see in the uh, further lectures okay so we got a general idea that uh, because of the charge separation at the oh bond and the co bond the whole reaction chemistry of alcohols can be explained now because of this charge separation this acts as a base is can act as a nucleophile all right oh, okay now the oxygen atom acted as a base and a nucleophile now alcohols are can act as acids also okay so when we see this reaction as r o h okay plus water all right so now what happens this oxygen atom attacks this hydrogen atom basically it extracts this hydrogen atom because of the polarization of bonds that has taken place all right now we are left with ro minus and h3o plus so this alcohol molecule acted as an as an acid water molecule acted as a base all right so we got <coughs> its conjugate base its conjugate acid all right so when we talk about alcohols being an acid alcohols are very weak acids okay this is very important alcohols are very weak acids <coughs> specifically speaking only <coughs> one alcohol is stronger than water that is <coughs> methyl alcohol <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> only we are talking about acid itself only methyl alcohol is <coughs> stronger than water rest all other alcohols are weaker than water all right so if we write a general trend we can write the relative acidity order as water being the most acidic followed by alcohols further followed by alkynes hydrogen ammonia hydrocarbons 
okay so the reverse is true for the <coughs> basic strength order so the basic strength is r minus mh2 minus h minus rc triple one c minus r o minus o h minus so this is basic strength So as the chain in alcohols increases, is as its acidity decreases. Okay, fine. <clears throat> so talking about acids, what is the general lab method of finding that an acidic H is present in an atom or uh, in a molecule? Okay. So <clears throat> talking about acidic H. we need to first find out what is an acidic H. An acidic H is an H a hydrogen atom attached to an electronegative atom is acidic okay so it's very simple when a hydrogen atom is attached to a very electronegative atom like fluorine oxygen nitrogen chlorine, iodine, etc, etc. So, that hydrogen atom is considered to be as acidic. Why? Because from acid based theory we know that an acid is a compound that generates H plus ions. Alright. So, if we have HA an acid so if it generates H plus ions then only we say that this is this H was acidic or HA was an acid alright so when will this H plus be generated so as we know that each and every reaction in, or, in organic chemistry is followed by a thumb rule that is stability everything every reaction in organic chemistry happens or is governed by stability so if this acid dissociates into H plus and A minus ions okay so if both H plus and A minus are not stable they won't dissociate okay so it's very basic that A minus will be formed from HA if and only if A minus is stable if it is not stable this won't dissociate okay so to for A minus to be stable the minus charge on A must stabilize it, must stabilize the negative charge on A should stabilize A. Alright. So, as we know that it, uh, we have two types of compounds. Okay. Electronegative and electropositive. If we go into the very details of chemistry, we will see that there is no nothing like electropositive. Okay, so there is always a general uh, uh, mistake done by students is that we differentiate elements as electronegative and electropositive. It is not the case. We have always uh, a less electronegative atom or a more electronegative atom. Okay, so what is electronegativity? Electronegativity is the tendency of an atom to attract the shared pair of electrons towards itself that is what we call electronegativity so uh, there is nothing called electropositive okay so it's always a more electronegative or the less electronegative okay for the time being i'll consider that uh, we have two electronegative the higher electronegative uh, elements as electronegative and the lower electronegative elements as electropositive okay so we know that a negative charge 
is stable on electronegative atoms and a positive charge is stable on less electronegative or electropositive atoms. Okay, so if we if we have a minus, so for this negative charge to be stable on a, this a should be a more electronegative atom. Okay. So as it is very clear that the more electronegative at, um, atoms of the electron of the periodic table are like O, F, N, chlorine, bromine. Okay. Fine. So these elements can bear a negative charge and be stable. Okay. So um, a negative charge on these atoms can be stable. So as we can see, if we have uh, a lesser electronegative atom or a electropositive atom for suppose then this negative charge on the electropositive atom won't be stable okay so if it's not stable why will it dissociate it won't dissociate because everything is chemistry and chemistry is being governed by uh, stability if it's not stable it won't dissociate all right so it will dissociate and gain a negative charge and be stable only if it is it is an electronegative atom. So, conversely, what we can say that H can be dissociated only when it is attached with a electronegative atom. All right. So, what is an acidic H? An acidic H is an H which is attached to a very electronegative atom. Why? You understood this. All right. I hope you understood this. Okay. Fine. Now, how do we test this? Okay. 